Welcome to the Home Museum. Today, I will introduce Galaxy Fit E with Android. Uh, first of all, uh, I talked about the Galaxy Fit E basic stuff in the iPhone one, but just just briefly, I will go over it. Uh, this one is a um, 96 megahertz uh, ARM Cortex M0 processor with 128 kilobyte RAM. It has 0.74 inch um, a PM OLED with 64 by 128 pixel and it's covered with the Gorilla Glass 4. And on the back, there's a heart rate sensor. And if you want to change your band, you can change like this. Um, for this one, it has Bluetooth 5.0 and has 70 milliamps in uh, battery. Um, this one has black, white, and a yellow one, and also has five ATM whirlpool. It's up to 50 meter. Um, when I'm using a Galaxy phone, you need to go to the Samsung Galaxy wearable app to connect this watch to the cell phone. Uh, I would, I talk about this application when I was introduced this watch first time, so you can check this demo video up there, and I will go over with what this can do and what um, this record my fitness or daily life. Uh, firstly, this one can uh, track steps and how long I active or show exercise. Uh, when I using with iPhone, I had few problem with um, they, this data sync with the Samsung Health app. They miss some data somehow, but when I using Android, I never had those problem. Um, and also, it can track sleep, but the problem is sometimes, like today, it missed some sleep pattern. I didn't sleep at three thirty. I sleep a little bit earlier than that, but they missed some piece of the uh, record. Also, sometimes didn't even track words. Sometimes it tracked really well. Yeah. It tracked by Galaxy Fit E. However, it doesn't give me the uh, graphs like uh, like this. Even this one missing some part, like like so. You can change in hair setting. In here you can change every 10 minutes or continuously uh, when you turn on every 10 minutes is track every 10 minutes it looks like it looks like like this nope like this so every 10 minutes 26 20 36, 46, every 10 minutes, it record my heart rate. And if you turn on continuously, it track continuously. And it's giving me uh, every hour, 9 p.m. to 9.59 p.m. Like so. Um, also, when you turn on the heart rate continuously, when you, you, when you walk, it will automatically record your walking and it's not only give a speed, but also give a heart rate as well. So I think it's give more correct data for the uh, calories I spend, I guess. Um, so to be honest, other than that, this one have a, doesn't have a lot of future. So pretty much that's it. It's automatically tracked walking, running, or other 
uh, exercise and sleep, heart rate, and just steps and give us a uh, notification and like a weather information. Um, now, the smartwatch, important thing is better life, I think. The Apple Watch better life is pretty short, it's uh, about a day. And Galaxy Watch is a little bit better, it's like two to, two to three day and bigger one is a three to five day, I guess. This one, uh, Samsung claims that it can go up to 10 days. However, when I'm using iPhone, when I turn the heart rate monitor for 10, every 10 minutes, it go about three days. And when I turn on uh, continuously, it go about two days. With Android phone, uh, the battery life is actually better than iPhone. When you turn on heart rate monitor for uh, 10 minutes, it go more than four days. Um, I use it two times uh, um, from 100% to 0%. First time, it spent 93 hours. And second time, it worked 97 hours. When you turn on the heart rate monitor continuously, it worked um, 96 hours and 95 hours. So, the battery life is better than iPhone because the way it communicates with smartphone, I guess. Because in iPhone, you download the uh, Samsung wearable app and just connect to the uh, Galaxy Fit E, that's it. But Android, when you download the Galaxy wearable app, then when you connect to the Gear Fit E, they actually download another app which called Samsung Galaxy Fit E plugin. I think because that plugin, they like syncing data kind of stuff is more optimized. So that reason battery life is better than iPhone. I think, I'm not sure, but still it's go more than four days, but it didn't go up to 10 days what Samsung claimed. And for the charging speed, I charge this device uh, five times from 0% to 100%. Um, usually take uh, 96 minutes. Average for five times was 97.2 minutes, um, which was pretty good. Um, hour and a half and working for three to four day, I think that's uh, okay. Hopefully a little bit faster, but I understand the battery itself is pretty small and they cannot take a huge amount of electricity. So hour and a half, charging hour and a half to working three to four day, I think that's pretty re reasonable. Uh, so pretty much that's it. Uh, that's it for the this, this watch. To be honest, nothing to talk about this one because it's so limited function. Yep, so that's it for this video and thank you for visit our museum. And if you like, you can subscribe and I'll give a like for this video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.